Okay, everybody, this is my uh, ballast system for my ROV. My first ROV, actually. I am controlling it with a PlayStation 2 controller wired into an Arduino Mega. And this will all be down in the ROV. I got a four relay board module, module board. On short, I'll have my serial monitor which displays some diagnostics. I plan on putting that into a into a um, different program so I can make it more made with more graphics, actually have gauges and stuff. Anyways, I've got two bike tire inner tubes. Bought some Schrader valve inserts from a bike shop in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Pretty cheap. Um, they're a little loose, so I'm going to have to get some hose clamps on there. Because it, it's leaking right now, but this is just... I just got this going tonight. Got all the parts in, finally. This is a Firestone 1 gallon, 150 PSI tank. Two port. I fill it back here. And on the front end, this other port, I've got some brass tubing. I'm going to a regulator. which has a gauge on it as well. I have it set to, um, what is it, some, I don't know, 30 PSI or something every time this solenoid opens up. They are normally closed solenoids. This one on the right is going to be the pressurized, I guess, uh, solenoid. The one on the left is going to be the depressurized solenoid, both normally closed, like I said. So, right now, this whole part here is pressurized from the tank. And once I engage this solenoid, it will pressurize both these hoses and out to both of the bike tire inner tubes. And that is if I push start on my Sony PlayStation controller. And if I hit select, the depressurized, depressurized, sorry, solenoid on the left will let air out. I have it set up to where it fires every half second or so to pressurize, and then every second to depressurize in an attempt to, um, an attempt to make it manageable, I suppose the pressure and the release. Anyways, let's give a little uh, little show here. Just real quick, this is depressurized by pushing select. Here, clicking on and off. There's no air in the tubes, so obviously it's not escaping. Now if I hit start, it pressurizes. You can hear it leaking out. Select. Release of the air. And if I hit both buttons at the same time, for some reason if there's an emergency and I need to put as much air as I can to the inner tubes and get it back to shore as fast as possible, I hit both of them at the same time. Hmm. Start and select. I think my issue here is it's not reading simultaneous buttons very easily so I'm gonna have to change that to a different different button pressure evacuate release pressure Release more pressure. Evacuate. And here on the screen, man, that focus is horrible. 
It says warning, leak detection system has been activated. Blah, 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 blah. Let's pressure, or let's release pressure here. Now those values are not correct. Um, just something I threw in. Let's pressurize again. And depressurize. Evacuate. Not evacuating. Evacuate. There we go. There we have it. The ballast system not 100% done yet. Like I said, I gotta get some sort of hose clamps over there and uh, get all the correct wire lengths and everything. But hey. We have progress.